Hello guys, Tivik here and welcome to Starbound. Yes, yes, it's finally here and I'm so excited about this, this is gonna be awesome. Um, I have just booted it up really, so let's uh, create a character. Okay, um, do we want a human, avian, apex, florin, hilot, what? Hylotls or glitch? Hmm, I'm not sure. I think I want to be Apex monkey. No, Floran, I'm not a flower. Hmm. No, let's be a robot glitch. Make someone who looks kind of funny. Ah. Uh, the dogs are going wild in the background. I hope that is not going through too much on the recording here. But... Hmm... Let's see. I want... To play around with this. That's a lot of head mods. That looks good. Um, paint color. I will be a fairly grayish color. Uh, we'll start out with the brownish color. Yeah, let's check the personalities. Ah, that looks better. And I'm not gonna be a random name. You know me, I'm going to be Tevek. Oh, yeah. Let's uh, hop into the game. <clears throat> Sorry about that. We have liftoff. Time for an upgrade. As one of the few glitch to achieve self-awareness, you were forced to flee your home with little preparation. Your ship has run out of fuel. Oh dear, are we out of fuel? <sighs> in orbit on an unknown planet, before setting out in search of fuel, search your ship's storage for a matter manipulator. Press E to interact with objects. Okay. So here we are. Okay, you jump with the normal keys, you move up and down. Um, okay, so this seems to be something I can interact with, so E. Oh, yeah, here's a matter manipulator. Cool. Let's, uh, I, I right-clicked that and it moved up. That's nice. Um, what do we have? We have a sword. Okay, we'll take a look at that in a moment. I have some seeds. Bolt bulb. Okay. What are these? I don't know. Um, I have wheat seeds. Okay. And some torches. I'm gonna put them on zero because, as usual, well, maybe I can I put it on? Huh. Yeah, that'll work. And the flashlight. Can I put that there? I don't think I can have the flashlight at the same time as that, so let's close that. Oh, nice! The matter manipulator allows you to manipulate almost anything in the game world. It's time to search the planet for fuel. To survive down there, you'll need tools. To produce tools, you need to make yourself a crafting table. Use your ship's teleportation platform to beam down. Oh, that's a big sword. It's broken. But it's got a swing speed of 192, and I can hold the mouse button. Ah, oh, that's good. Uh, is this a teleporter? I suppose I just hit E. Yep. Alpha Rosales 3813. Okay. What are you? So I use the manipulator to, like, manipulate stuff. What happens if I... I got Chili Seed. Oh, it's put in my hotbar. Hot, hot, hot fiesta looks dangerous for anyone but the human. Okay. And chili seed. What is that? Hey! I got pixel... Pixels? Is that like a currency or something? Hmm. So... 
in progress shop class uh, I was supposed to hmm. <clears throat> I don't know how to craft how do you craft craft the wooden crafting table will need wooden planks to get wood planks I will need wood I can make bows campfires okay what's the range of this thing pretty good What are you? I hope the music is not too loud. Oh, this takes forever. But I got some copper ore, okay? Let me just turn down the volume slightly here. So, this is... I'll do that. This is a beta. So, with beta, that means um, basically it's uh, not finished yet. It's got a lot of content, as far as I understand it. It's pretty playable, as far as I understand it as well. Balance is not, so there will probably be a lot of dying. Um, this looks kind of like a birch tree. Hey, I got unrefined wood and there's a dinosaur over there. What are you? So I can just hit... Two and I get whatever dirt I picked up there. There we go. Four, I get copper ore. Five, I get the wood. And I can place that. Um, let's craft wood planks. I need how much? Uh, 35, okay. Well, 35. That's something... That should be 35. 36, actually. Oh, and it's instant. Nice. And uh, I'm carrying it around. I should probably take it out of there and put it in my inventory instead. Oh, nice. Oh, C is the screen for that. Nice. And a wooden crafting table. Nice. So, I got a reward of some pixels, I think. By now you're likely beginning to feel hungry. Food can be found in a variety of places, but in pinch hunting can be the best option, yes. Obtain some alien meat by killing a monster with a bow and cook it on a campfire to produce cooked alien meat. Okay. Um, I have that. Oh. Hunting bow, I need plant fibers. How do you get plant fibers? Plant... No. Hmm. I suppose I can just look around and my voice is a bit bad. One moment, I'm just gonna clear my throat. I was just digging in the meantime here and there. Much better. That alien sounds a bit angry with me. Let's cut this down. Oh. Are you dangerous? Okay. No, he's not too dangerous. How do I get plant fiber? So, I would think... That just seems to be other items. Uh, I don't know. Plant fiber. Let's uh, go looking. Maybe on a bigger plant. Nope. There's a lot of copper around. But chili seed can't really be used for anything. Here's another one of those. So I got some pixels from that. What are you?
These are scary. Okay. What about you? No. Okay. Uh, oh, we need some kind of plant fibers to... Well, I'll just continue searching. Can I... dig that up? Yes. So you seem to get the... soil block as well when you're digging. That's kind of cool. So, it is very similar to Terraria in the way that you control things. You walk left and right and... And that I like because Terraria is awesome. But, plant fiber, how do I get that? I want to get that. Plant fiber. Are there any hints for that? Nope. Hmm. Well, we'll just continue then. I'm just gonna have to remember. Look at these mountains in the background. It's very cool. I'm just gonna have to remember what these are. I can make a campfire. That's probably a good idea. Perfect. Uh, I'll place it down there. And I can cook stuff here. Can I cook these? Nope. Hmm. Getting peckish. Uh, bolt, bulb, and wheat. Surprisingly soft. Um, can I plant this? Doesn't look like it. Okay, I'll continue this way. <laughs> so, hmm, learning the game from this from scratch, step by step. We'll just cut down this tree. There's some weird fish down there. Hmm. Takes forever to cut down a big tree, I say. There it is. Okay, so... I can light the way down here and see. Oh, I wonder, can I get up? Oh, I seem to be able to swim. Yes. You can swim. So water is not a... Too, well, it's probably dangerous, but what are you? Well, whoever she was, I just killed him. <laughs> well, okay. There's one of these. Hey, there's a building here. Nice! I can sleep. Seems to be giving me health back. Nice. What are these? Bone chimes. Well, I probably shouldn't just destroy her house. Well, yes, she's dead now. Right. So... I would really like to find something so I can craft a bow. Ouch! Is that coal? Can I dig down there? I can. Hmm. Well, I suppose I need to dig, dig my way down there first. I wonder if there's a mode setting on this one. Okay, so coal is good because that means I can make torches. But it takes forever. So, I know there's coal here. I shouldn't be digging too much. Holy! 
He's hungry. It's dark. Do I have some kind of energy level or something? I'm curious if I can get these out of here. Oh, it's very dark for you guys. But look at the light and everything, it's awesome. Oh, am I stuck down here now? Nope, good. I'm gonna head up. It's uh, dark and there's a whole kind of... What are you? That's a monster of some kind and looks... Ow, I'm dead. Wow. Well, I'm getting reassembled. I'm back on my ship. That's awesome. Right, so um, that's the first episode here. Um, okay, we can put in fuel. Can I put in... That's not a lot of fuel. Um, yeah, so this is the first episode of Starbound, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna end the recording here and get right back to recording the next one. So I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>